In today's video, I'll be showing you the ultimate method to roll your clothing in order to save space in your suitcase the next time you travel. It's easier than you think, and it's kind of fun. Let's start with one of the easiest items that every traveler will be packing, a t-shirt. Hello! Start by creating a fold at the bottom that is roughly two inches thick. You will then want to take the sleeves and fold them into the center, and then take one side and also fold it into the center. Take the other side as well. And now you want to flip around and start at the collar of your shirt opposite to where you have the fold. Then begin rolling as tightly as possible. I learned this as the army roll from when I was in the Air Cadets for about six years. My sister went on to be a pilot. <laughs> I definitely regret not also trying to get my license. Okay, as you make it to the base, you will see that there's a little flap that's being created from the original fold that you made. You'll want to take that and flip it over the rest of the shirt so it almost becomes like a little pouch. Next, I'll show you how to do the army roll, also known as the ranger roll, with a pair of socks. You'll want to place the socks on top of each other and then create a two inch fold with the top sock. Just like before, you'll start from the end that is opposite of the fold and begin rolling as tightly as possible. These socks have Ollie's face on them. Unfortunately, he cannot be with us for this video because he cannot handle how much fun it is to roll clothing or eat them. Okay, as we get to the top here, you'll see there's this flap and you want to take the top of that bottom sock and fold it inside out around the roll that you created. And that's it. That is the ranger roll for a pair of socks. Next, I'll show you how to do this with a pair of jeans. Make sure that the pockets are empty, that it's buttoned up, and that it's zipped up as well. You'll then want to take the top and create a roughly three inch fold, a little bit more than with the others since these are thicker material and you'll want more fold at the end. Place them down, smooth them out, and then place one pant leg over the other. Once again, you'll start at the bottom and just begin rolling. One of the biggest mistakes you can make when doing this ranger roll is not starting off as tightly as possible, as well as not smoothing out the wrinkles as you go. It definitely takes practice. And jeans are probably the most difficult. Okay, keep rolling, keep rolling. And then as you get to the top, you'll see this flap that's being created again, and you'll want to take that and roll it over the jeans, like a pocket, like a little burrito. Okay, I'm not the best at doing this, but that's not bad, and it's about as compact as you will get a pair of jeans. Next, I'll show you how to do this with a hooded sweater or a hoodie. If it has a zipper, you'll want to tuck the hood into the jacket. I mean, I guess you'll want to do this even if it doesn't have a zipper. Okay, zip it back up, and then you'll create that fold at the bottom like we did before, roughly two inches thick. Take one sleeve and fold it towards the shoulder and then fold the other sleeve towards the shoulder as well and then fold them both towards the center. Now you'll want to fold one side toward the center as we did with the t-shirt and then fold the other side over as well. We're always trying to make this rectangle shape. Then start from the hooded side opposite to where you have the fold and you guessed it, begin rolling as tightly as possible. I actually find this method keeps my clothing less wrinkled than if I was folding it, but I do also carry wrinkle release spray with me and find that really helps at my destination. 
Okay, you've created this little fold once again, which you will take over top of your roll. And there you go. This one is quite tightly rolled, but if you are concerned about your rolls coming undone or if they're not that tight, it really does take quite a bit of practice. You can always put an elastic band or a hair elastic around them as well to hold everything together. And finally, I'll show you one more way to do this roll when you have a bigger, thicker jacket. It can be difficult to fold it over at the end with that lip at the bottom. So instead, we're going to fold everything into the hood. So in this case, we will not tuck the hood in, but if it does have little drawstrings like this, you're going to want to tighten it just to make a smaller pocket for the end. It is best to try to wear any bulkier jackets like this onto the plane as opposed to packing them. But if you do need to pack it, this is probably the most compact way to do it. So just like before, you're folding your sleeves into the shoulder and then into the center. One fold to the center and the other as well. This time we'll start from the bottom opposite end of our pocket and there's no fold. If you have a down jacket as well, you'll want to squeeze out as much air as you can as you do this fold. The tighter you can make it, the smaller this jacket is going to end up and the easier it's going to be to pack. And as you get to the top, you're going to want to take the hood and use it as a pocket for the roll that you just made. If you can, tighten those drawstrings up a little bit more to hold everything together. This jacket has a rather large hood to it, so this isn't quite as compact and tight as it could be, but it's not bad. I would still say it is the most compact way to fold a larger jacket. I'll show you in another video how I then take my rolled up clothing and organize all of it into different cubes to go inside of my suitcase. Let us know down in the comments if you'll be giving this method of rolling your clothing a try the next time you travel. Even just practice it with a pair of socks. It's fun and almost therapeutic. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name's Megan and I hope I'll see you back here next week for more travel tips and hacks. Safe travels. Bye.